What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Gem Grab Cell Division. Jello Beats, holla at me. So this is actually a new map, and this is actually my first time playing it. I played it one time by accident and then we just like fooled around in a friendly room but yeah this is my first time playing it i think i'm gonna go right side and it looks like there's like a little jumper over there like a little bounce pad type of thing so we're gonna see how far that takes us and there is a lot of grass over there so we are gonna be playing frank because i love playing frank i find him one of the most fun brawlers in the game and yeah let's see what happens but i'm sure it's gonna be super fun with all these bounce pads everywhere so here we go we're gonna be facing a mortis poco and Spikes. We're gonna be playing Gene mid now. Not a lot of people actually know that Gene is a pretty crazy mid. So we're gonna go with this bounce. It looks like we're gonna bounce us right onto them. That's so cool. We're gonna be right beside them just because of one bounce. We're gonna go all the way up here. Hopefully the spike doesn't notice us. We're gonna get one shot. It's basically like it's basically a mission to like go out and get your super. But once you get that Frank super, oh my god, is he strong? So we're gonna be going hitting this. Oh. <laughs> That Mortis just basically gave us a free super, so it's going to be easy lane wins from here on out. Easy domination, so we did actually low-key break our walls. So we are going to go on the left side because, you know, gotta love those walls. Looks like we're one shot here. We're probably going to go down. There is a Mortis behind us. With a Gene, made a Gene doesn't have too much DPS, so we don't want to leave him with a Mortis for sure. Going to be helping out our lanes here. We're going to try and pinch the Mortis. Looks like Jetton is going to be able to get him. So I'm going to be running up over here. And that might be a GG. Oh, we stunned him mid. That was so cool. We stunned him midway. Looks like the Mortis is going to jump over. Do you lose track of him when he's over there? That was so cool. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But I think we didn't. We lost sight of him when he was jumping over grass. Now, that's kind of weird if you think about it. But it's pretty cool too. Anyways, we're just going to go over here. We're going to kill the Mortis, and that is going to be the end of the first game. So here we go, second game. We're going to be facing another Mortis. So I guess Mortis is meta on this. It's, this map's been around for like, I don't know. This map's been around for a good amount of time now. I think since 3M, so almost 10 hours now. So it looks like people kind of know what the meta is. I definitely do not know what the meta is. We're going to be going after that Nita. We're going to kill the Nita. Oh my god. One more. Oh my god. One more second. We would have had him. So we're going to go. We're just going to jump right back on them. This is so cool how you can kind of just leapfrog right onto them. So amazing. Oh, I thought we wasted our super. Okay, we're going to let... We're gonna let the Gene take care of that since we know we're gonna get the kill. I was gonna try and kill the Poco, uh, the Nita too, but it looks like that was too much to ask. Anyways, we're gonna just walk up over here, do the same thing again. Oh my God, there was a Mortis under us. Sneaky Mortis, we're gonna go back and try and help our team here. Do not want our gem carrier to die. It looks like he's gonna be able to kill them. We're just a sitting duck here, basically. Looks like that Pam's gonna go for the big jump. Oh, maybe not. I think that's a waste of super. Yeah, that's a waste of super over there. Oh, he's, he was in the turret. No, so he was able to get the kill because he was in the turret. It's a close game. I wish there were also jumpers on the left side too. That would be so, so broken. Because now we're just basically jumping to a side which doesn't have walls. And it's really hard for us to get a kill because, you know, being a Frank, walls are very OP to have. Anyways, we're going to go right to the Sneeta. She's going to get too close to us. We're going to be able to get him. Win a super to the left. Oh, I didn't know the Mortis had any shots. What you want to do when facing a Mortis is they think that you're going to shoot right at them, which, you know, the normal player will shoot right at them. So what I like to do is shoot behind me to where they're going to go. Now, this is pretty risky, but it actually does work out majority of the time. I'd recommend trying it. Kind of That was kind of like a pro tip over there, but not really. If you do get embarrassed by shooting backwards, do not blame me. But anyways, that's going to be another win in the second game against new Night Witch skin Mortis. Let's hop right into the third game. Here we go again. We're gonna be facing S. Julian S, which is a good player. Uh, he's gonna be going Taro. We're facing a Crow and a Gene, so it's kind of like two mids. I can kind of mid, but not really. It looks like they're gonna be working together. Oh, oh wow. They, they, 
they were really waiting for that one. So I don't really know what the next play is here. I think we're just going to try it again and hope for the best. Gonna give him a shot. Oh, we're not gonna take a shot. Looks like they're standing. They even though they're predicting it, people are always gonna stand too close. I guess it's just kind of like a thing. People have to adjust to the whole bounce pad thing. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill us. He's going to end up killing us. But we have Jetton alive. So I don't really know what the play is here because they they know we're coming. People know what we're gonna do. Honestly, I feel like Shelly would be so OP here. You can just sit there with a Shelly. I don't want to super because, okay, now I can super. Now they should be afraid. Julian's coming too close. That's going to be a GG right there for Julian. You're not surviving that one, buddy. We're going to scare them off, kind of. I don't think the Tara is too close to super because she did just waste it. Come on, Julian. What are you doing, buddy? Come on now, guys. We're going to walk in. We're going to be able to take it. Hopefully, we're going to get some help. Unfortunately, not. I mean, there's not much that they could have done, but we did get some gems. And we definitely did have some crazy momentum over there. So it's 8 to 1 right now. The issue is it's a lot easier with no walls broken. So we're going to jump over here. Going to go with the backward super. Hopefully we get Julian. Oh my god. So close. It looks like Jen is going to go down. We're going to try and pinch with this bear. We're going to try and get the gene. Wow, the gene actually avoid both shots over there. Oh no. It's not looking the best for Sun Bentley over there. Our mid. This isn't looking too good. It's 9 to 7 right now. Hopefully we do get a good gem spawn. I don't think we did. So we got to rush into their base here. And I may change it up after watching, after playing this game. So I don't know if I was too happy about the gene. I mean about the Frank. Yeah, that's going to be it for the game right there. That's going to be our first loss actually all day, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, that's the game over there. So... I know I'm always going to include those losses if we had them. So I'm going to throw that in there and let's get into the fourth and final game. So here we go into the fourth and final game. We are going to switch to Primo over here. I'm going to do the big jump, hopefully spook them, land right on them. No, we're not going to go right on them. They are going to be keeping their distance. Not surprised is going to be surprised. Trash pun incoming. Oh my God, we didn't even kill him. Trash pun and no kill. That's a big GG over there. We're going to kill this this bear real quick. Don't want... No, we want to let our boy son Bentley heal up, you know? We're going to give a big spook. The big trickery. Thought he was going to jump. We're just going to try and charge our super. Okay, close enough. We just need a few more hits to get the super. I was going to try and, like, pretend that I was jumping. So he's like, oh, okay, I'll go closer and get a few chip shots. And then I was going to just run away. But that did not... Or run towards him. That did not happen. So they really are gonna throw a bear on us. It looks like they are pretty concerned about our where about our whereabouts so far, which does make sense. We are a primo. Come on, give me my super. Holy, it's so tough. I don't know if primo is the best move here. To be honest, it's so tough for me to get my super. Once I get one, it's gonna be basically GG. But getting the super is just a whole ordeal right now. I think. Oh, I think we got that Nita close. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we have to do 5,000 damage in order to get our super back. Just going to wait it out. We're going to jump actually right on here. He's low. We're going to go right for this. We're going to let Jetton pick up the gems. We're just going to keep punching away. This Nita is gaining so much health from her bear. We're going to jump on both of them. Go for both. We're going to get that kill. We're going to jump on. Not surprised. We're going to hide behind this wall over here. We did a lot of damage. Left them two shot for Bentley. Wow, we went from doing absolutely nothing to basically team wiping. That is what, that is literally, it's just, it's just crazy what one Primo Super can do. As soon as you get that one Primo Super, it's so hard, but then you're in, you're golden. And yeah, that's basically going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the new map today. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. That was actually my fourth recording of the day. I've been grinding away at videos all day. I'm actually leaving for vacation tomorrow early in the morning so I won't be able to make any videos. I did pre-record basically every single map that was out today and a few special things. I'm going to try and actually record a vlog while I'm away. I haven't done one before so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do it but I'm going to try my hardest. But with that being said, huge shout out real quick to Toma for, for being literally everything behind the scenes. He tells me when to make a video, he tells me when a map is out, he tells me absolutely everything. It's actually crazy. He edits every single day. So huge, huge, huge shout out to Toma. Make sure you guys give him some love in the comments down below. 
But as always, like, subscribe, comment. You guys already know what I'm going to say. So yeah, that's it. Peace out, guys. See ya.